if you had to narrow it down to just one. Big country. And he had the ugliest Donald uh, Duckworth one-hand jumper. He shoot it and it always go in. Brian Reeves, born June 8th, 1973. When you talk about 90s basketball and the center position of that time, you never really hear many mention the name Brian Reeves, owner of one of the coolest and most fitting nicknames in sports history, Big Country. To this day, the number 50 Brian Reeves turquoise and bronze jersey is still a classic in my eyes, but faded away from the spotlight almost as fast as Brian Reeves' NBA career, which lasted just six seasons. When the Vancouver Grizzlies drafted Reeves as their first ever pick in an NBA draft in 1995, right after Kevin Garnett and ahead of former All-Star Michael Finley, he became their first real chance at an NBA franchise player. He was big, which was popular at the time, had the cool name, good for marketing, wanted to be in small town Vancouver, and dominated college basketball in a time seven foot centers were in high demand. But up to that point, there was nothing like big country in all of sports, in good ways and bad ones. Not only was he elite height, he was country fed as they say, and looked like he could handle the rigors of 90s basketball but size and weight didn't hinder his play. He could still move with the best of them at center, had a nice mid-range jump shot, and believe it or not, ironically, he was very durable in the seasons he was available to play. But that country bumpkin look and swagger, or lack thereof, didn't make Reeves the most intimidating big man, and he was often tried when he was finally at the level of giants that could stand eye to eye. When the expansion Grizzlies, who weren't allowed a top five pick in their first three drafts starting with Brian Reeves's, even if they won the lottery, and wasn't allowed to fully use their salary cap for the first two seasons of Reeves's career, they didn't expect much, except to give the team some sort of identity that fans could get behind and support their process in hopes of a brighter future. They also didn't expect the Oklahoma Hall of Fame big man to never make it to the playoffs under his franchise player leadership and never win more than 23 games in that span a season. Although at first he did succeed at giving Vancouver something to believe in, it wouldn't last very long. As his body crumbled, the team was taken to the grizzly bearless Memphis, Tennessee, and the franchise doing everything to move in a direction away from Reeves. What happened? Was Bryant Reeves a bust? Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunned Growth. Let's get it, man. Bryant Reeves was a seven-foot center from Fort Smith, Arkansas that played and starred at Gans High School in Gans, Oklahoma. Since a kid, he was much larger than the other kids and developed an organic love for basketball because for the first time, he was good at something. He became Gans, Oklahoma's only star basketball player in history and only to reach a level such as the NBA. He decided to stay close to home and sign with Oklahoma State, where by his sophomore season he was the full-time starter and star player averaging 20 and 10 from there on out. He was in a back-to-the-basket era, and in college basketball, Bryant Reeves was one of the best at it. He led the Cowboys to the Final Four as a senior, breaking backboards along the way, and was a surefire lottery pick and expected to dominate the NBA as well. Stun number one, the desire to be great. I never wanted to play for 20 years, but you know, I'm very content in being where I'm at today um, and doing what I'm doing now. As we've spoken about, and some of you have mentioned in the comments before, not everyone that plays at a high level was meant to make the NBA. Not every player that does were made to become superstars and Hall of Famers. While Bryant Reeves had the pedigree, size, opportunity, and skills to be one of the best of his generation, or at least his draft class, his desire to be great has always been questioned and he even addresses this himself, saying that he never planned on spending 20 years in the NBA. A player coming into it with that mindset, it's difficult to measure their desire, but that thinking alone tells me basketball is not a top priority for them long haul, which can make them not put the work in it takes not to just be a good player, but to even win games as a key piece in the NBA. 
as the rookie Reeves became the starting center early on and actually didn't disappoint. He made second team all rookie, averaging 13 points and 7 rebounds, playing 77 games. With more minutes in year two, he was even better at 16 and 10, shooting a career high 48% from the field. Year three was much the same, except at that point, Reeves' averages weren't showing potential star player, much less franchise big that could lead them to prominence and keeping their team around. And then, things took a drastic turn and Big Country's production completely fell off. In 98-99, the NBA had its third lockout season, with players and owners fighting over a collective bargaining agreement that lasted from the summer of 98 to January 1999. The Grizzlies, who didn't make the playoffs as usual, had an extended offseason, and in that time, Reeves ate. He showed up considerably overweight and managed to play in just 25 of the 50 games each team were given for the season because of conditioning issues that led to small injuries. His lack of work ethic would eventually cost him his career. Stunt number two, injuries piled up. Big guys often fight uh, a lot of uh, health issues that the rest of us don't really understand. Whenever I see a player the size of Reeves, immediately I wonder about things like injuries down the road. Being that tall and even skinny in itself is a challenge, but not more than being the size of Reeves. On top of that, you can develop weight issues because of your ability to afford food on call and the opportunity a profession like basketball player gives you with all the downtime you have. Without the proper care and work ethic to stay in shape at that size, the body will eventually crumble and in the worst way. That way for Reeves was him developing knee issues like bone bruises that would keep him out 5 games here, 10 games there, and back issues that were so severe, his doctor eventually advised Reeves not to continue playing the only sport he ever knew. During the lockout season, he averaged just 10 points and 5 rebounds in 28 minutes a few years after being signed to a $64 million extension. It was clear Reeves was about finished as an NBA player because of his inability to stay in shape that led to career-threatening injuries. Sadly for Reeves, the injuries never went away, and in the following two seasons after the lockout, his production fell each year and entered bus levels entering the 2000s, mainly because of knees and a back that just had enough. Stunt number three, the team not winning much. How can you fault a guy for signing that contract and then, and then getting hurt and ending, ending his career? We see it all the time. And finally, what I think stunted his individual growth was the team never being successful under Bryant Reeves. Of course, not only he was to blame, but him not having the success expected as their first franchise player led to things like lack of fan support, losing records season after season, and finally the team being sold and moved to Memphis. But teams moving isn't foreign, right? Difference was, the Grizzlies wanted a fresh start in their new home, which meant completely moving on from their first ever draft pick and cornerstone piece. The team was approved to move by 2001, and in the upcoming season, Reeves only logged minutes in the first two preseason games before being, as he calls, medically discharged. But really, I'm sure all involved knew it was because this was just the end of the road for the Bryant Reeves Grizzly story, as he became bad for business with all the injuries and lack of production. He came in at 22 and was out of the NBA by just 27 years old. All in all, Bryant Reeves by the numbers had a decent but short career. Was he a bust? Many believe so, and I have to agree. Does it matter? No. Like mentioned, Reeves never expected to play into his 40s and become a Hall of Famer. He left content with the over 70 million he made in the NBA and left early enough to get involved in other things he enjoyed like farming and just being a normal country guy. He did make the Oklahoma Basketball Hall of Fame and as far as in life, Bryant Reeves is still a legend where he's from.
Salute to him, much respect, but for these reasons, his growth was stunted. It's your boy Jay-Z, Stunted Growth, and I'm out.